airline to come back and start to fly again. Mm. For the airline to come back so quickly and be profitable in a weak uh, quarter mm -hmm. and fly with 90% loads mm. is a very unique uh, right. occurrence right. Uh, in, in, uh, in aviation. Uh, and in fact, uh, the Boeing uh, CEO said to me that, uh, you know, uh, that you shouldn't discount the fact that what you guys have achieved is actually a miracle. Okay. It's, it's, it's not something which, which you see happen. Mm. Airlines don't bounce back uh, so quickly. They don't bounce back at all for the most part. Oh, right. I, think, I, think, I think the reason is that uh, A, there was a uh, you know, lot of support mm -hmm. uh, for this bounce back. Right. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, the employees of SpiceJet would you would expect that they would support the bounce back because yeah. they would have lost their jobs. But, uh, you know, the passengers supported it because without a spice jet, they would be stuck with a monopoly uh, operator and, and uh, uh, you know, would have to pay much higher fares. Yeah. Uh, the trade supported it because for them also there was a, a question of equilibrium, you know, mm -hmm. keeping balance uh, in, in uh, the aviation industry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the government supported it because of the fact that even though they couldn't do anything specifically right. but at least morally supported it strongly uh, for the reason that uh, uh, fa the failure of an airline uh, would have meant that uh, there would be no investment uh, in, in the sector for the longest time and uh, so it's very bad publicity for the aviation sector but also for the larger economy, the larger Indian economy because uh, uh, airline failures are so visible. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just like you know when a plane crashes, the whole world gets to know. Right, right, right. And similarly, when when uh, an airline goes down, the whole world gets to know. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, if if an airline goes down, it it speaks badly of the entire economy. Uh, there is a certain resilience about the SpiceJet brand. People remember it fondly. Right. There was a period when, of course, there was this trouble mm -hmm. uh, in between and. Uh, but people seem to forget that trouble pretty quickly as, as the airline started to improve. So I think uh, people, I think uh, SpiceJet's partners have been very cooperative after, you know, my taking over management of this uh, company. Uh, and uh, so I think, uh, you know, we should be grateful that, uh, I think, ev like I said, everybody wanted this to succeed. A bank debt? Uh, bank debt is zero. zero. All the banks, because, you know, we were very conscious of this whole Kingfisher experience. Uh, so, usme, usme kya hua tha? Kingfisher mein that ultimately, uh, you know, uh, the uh, employees didn't get paid, mm. uh, statutory dues were not paid, mm. and the banks didn't get paid, right. right? So, I was very clear that my priority would be when I started, the priority would be to make sure that these three heads are looked after first, so that people don't say that this will become another Kingfisher. So, statutory was paid first, employees and uh, banks so all that has been clear so the idea is to keep increasing uh, you know frequency between two destinations if uh, you know you increase frequency between two destinations if you're flying two flights obviously the cost of the flight is going to be high the moment you put four flights the cost comes down you put six flights the cost comes down even further and then you have to keep looking at every element of your cost and see how you can bring down that cost on the flight uh, you have a, the largest possible number of seats on your plane so that the per unit cost of a seat becomes low.